Hey everybody and welcome to this business continuity with Azure video. Today we're going to be talking about connectivity. Now connectivity is the ability to talk between two points on your network and if we look at that from a company perspective we can see that Tailwind traders have this primary site where the majority of their servers live and um, all of their end users work from. Now they have this secondary site and that's their disaster recovery site so they have a server footprint there and they have empty desk space for their end users to go to. Now in between those two sites they have um, connectivity that allows them to do the replication of their servers, their workloads from the primary site into the secondary site so that they can invoke it um, as a disaster recovery. And um, if Tailwind traders were looking to do away with that secondary site and replace it with Azure, we would actually need to still have that same connectivity in place. We still have to have that connectivity so as that um, the workloads and the applications, etc., can be copied or replicated up into Azure. So as that if something happened to that primary site and all their end users had to work from home um, they could do that um, but that leads us into the question about how do we have to have um, connectivity for the end users to access those workloads. Now you can access some servers and um, services from Azure through the public internet but a lot of companies prefer to use um, a direct connection, some kind of connectivity that ensures it's um, protected, encrypted and reliable for their end users. Um, so we, we need to talk about that connectivity and figure that one out so that if the end users are working from home, they can access the services in Azure. Or even potentially if Tailwind traders can't get into their primary office and they end up buying more office space and making everybody work out of there instead, there needs to be some connectivity again from that new office space up into Azure for the workloads. Now I want to talk to you about three types of connectivity that you can have. Talk about Express Route, VPN connectivity and Azure Virtual WAN. Now each of these topics are quite in depth and I could probably spend a couple of hours talking about each of them and still not even graze the surface of them. So I'm kind of caveating this video with the fact that these are just introductory and give you a bit of flavour about what connectivity you can put in place between your on-prem environments and Azure. Um, there's definitely more to each of these services and I'll be sharing some links and stuff for you to go and learn about that afterwards. Now the first one we want to talk about is Express Route and Express Route allows you to extend your on-premise network into the Microsoft Cloud. With Express Route you get reliable um, connectivity, you get fast speeds, you get consistent latencies and you get higher levels of security than if you were just sending your traffic across the public internet. Now it works on layer three between your on-prem and Microsoft Cloud facilities. Um, as you can see in this diagram here, we've got connectivity between um, Azure, that kind of virtual network that we have within Azure, and then some of the other services that we have in the cloud, such as Office 365. Now with Express Route, you have built-in redundancy with every peering location for higher reliability. We have connection uptime, SLAs in place, and your bandwidth can be anything between 50 megabytes and 10 gigabytes. Now obviously the price points um, change slightly depending on what bandwidth you choose, um, but there is that flexibility depending on what your organisation needs. Now if you need to know more about Express Route, um, check out the link on screen right now and it can give you more detailed information including some information around the pricing of the service as well. Now something I think is pretty cool that we have access to is the ability to run Express Route for over satellites as well. Now this isn't something that necessarily every office um, based in a city would need but for companies that have um, remote sites um, you know a, a remote factory in the middle of somewhere that doesn't have connectivity under the ground or they have something like oil and gas rigs and need to provide connectivity to Azure being able to use satellites is pretty cool and still having that reliable connection um, and that secure connection through um, satellites is pretty cool as well I think. Now the third, the second type of um, connectivity is VPN connectivity. Now with VPN connectivity we actually have two types of VPN that we could use within Azure um, and the first one is that point to site VPN which allows you to provide that connectivity 
um, to a computer or from a computer or an end user's laptop to your virtual network in Azure. So like I said, if that um, if Tailwind traders had something happen to their primary site, they could allow their users to work from home, use their laptops, and we can set up point to site VPN so that the end users can access all the services that have been invoked in Azure um, through a secure and reliable connection um, instead of using the public internet. Um, so that's great for being able to access resources and almost provide that functionality for the end users that it looks like they're still working in the office and the servers are sitting in the same building for them. Now the second one is called site to site VPN and that's more around providing um, an office space or, or a kind of building um, access or wholly into Azure. Um, and again, that scenario is, is kind of akin to what we were talking about earlier with Tailwind Traders, where their primary site, they can't get back into it after the disaster. They have to go and rent some more office space and start to build up the infrastructure there. They can provide that whole new office connectivity um, using site-to-site VPN um, as well and allow their users to start working again as if the servers were in the same building. Now, my colleague Thomas Moore actually did something pretty cool um, recently in a blog post. He actually enabled site-to-site -site VPN connectivity from his Ubiquiti Unified Dream Machine, which he has at home. So you can even have site-to-site -site from your home. Um, it works on those kind of consumer devices as well and the enterprise devices as well that we have as well. So if you want to read more about the VPN and the different types that we, we have available, check out the link on screen. So the last option I want to talk about in terms of connectivity is Azure Virtual WAN. Um, and this is something that was announced at Ignite 2019. And it's a networking service that allows you to build up your infrastructure or based around the Azure connectivity and help um, leverage some of the Microsoft backbone and connections that we have in place. You can use the things that I've talked about, so Express Route VPN, Site to Site VPN or that point to site connectivity. Um, the Express Route can be built into it. You can start to use the Microsoft routing, Azure Firewall and build up that kind of private infrastructure for you within your environment. Now the service is fairly new, but if you check out that link on screen, it can help you um, understand a bit more about it. Now, this is probably more for offices that have a large footprint, large branch offices and a headquarters, multiple um, implementations of Azure. Um, it's probably the more um, used in terms of just building up that infrastructure rather than in a disaster recovery scenario. But again, it depends on your scale of organisation and what connectivity you need and what scenarios you need to plan for. Now, as I said, if you want to learn more about any of these, please do check out the links that were on um, screen and I'll post them in the show notes as well. But we also have Microsoft Learn that can give you some information about these services. So again, check that out and have a read about what these um, services can do for you. Thank you for tuning in and hopefully catch you on another video.